One of the best parts about fishing is the unknown. Every time you're on the water, you have no idea what's going to happen. Well, one thing I do know is when I go fishing with Matt Newman and Paul Bailey, we catch big bass every single time. It's just a matter of timing before one of these guys swings on a big fish. This time around, we're hitting up three NorCal lakes and swinging for the fences. But on this special episode, we come across a once in a lifetime experience while fishing. One that we will never, ever forget as long as we live. And I couldn't have been more stoked to be a part of it. Oh, right there at the phone! This is a world record. This is a world record. This is a world record. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Look at that thing! Whoa! Yeah, baby! Don't go on fishing! Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Simrad, the world's most trusted fish finding electronics, marine equipment, and navigational solutions. Simrad, go with confidence. And by Okuma Fishing Tackle, developed to inspire your passion for fishing both on and off the water. And by Davies Locker Sport Fishing and Whale Watching, where Southern California goes to experience what the ocean has to offer. And by Simi Valley Buick GMC, Southern California's family owned and operated dealership that is stoked on fishing. And so the Clear Lake adventure begins. It's been a couple years since I've been up here. And I was telling Matt on our way up, is it all, you never know what's gonna happen with us every time we get together. <laughs> Something goes down, something big usually goes down. So our goal is to fish three lakes up here while we're up here. It's part of it though, right? <laughs> right, yeah, it's part of it. But no, that's something you have to do if, once you show up here, right? Yeah, no, it's everywhere now. It's yeah. every lake. Okay. Yeah. Right, the, the muscle yeah. thing, right? Oh, yeah. Right? What's the name of your shop here? Really Bing Tackle. That makes them legal? He's legal. All right. Legal, legal. Thank you very much. It was last month's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fish enough. Some amazing days on that lake, huh, Matt? Those magical days. Magical days, yeah. Magical. We're changing it up after four years of tradition, I think. Well, yeah, three different lakes. I like it. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. I like these trips. It's freezing cold, which will keep the crowds down. Dr. Bailey, he's uh, he's been doing his homework on all of the lakes, too. Exactly. Not just one lake. He's had his work cut out for him. But we're going to catch some bass in three different lakes. Race home and catch tuna in the big one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. I knew that was I've been talking tuna the entire trip. It's the first time ever I've come to Clear Lake. We've been talking tuna the whole time. <laughs> Very lucky. It's been a good year. It's not done yet. <laughs> hey, you want to throw a guest down on yeah, our scarf? What's that? Yeah, he's really been promoting this scarf. Strong fashion statement as well. That's very functional. Scarf along with the camo pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, starting off fresh this morning. I like it. <laughs> Always exciting when you're going to fish a brand new lake that you've never fished before. That is really, to me, is what it's fishing is all about. Yeah, I'm hanging out with Matt Newman and Paul fashion. Bailey once again some uh, northern territory lakes. And we should be there, what, half hour, 20 minutes? Uh-oh, I see it, right there. Right I there. see it. It's only good, there's only six boats on the lake. It's only launch ramp open. Check, baby, check, baby. One, two, three. Okay. 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 There you go. Picasso shakedown and a robo worm. Picasso shakedown, shaky head. Yep. And a robo worm, worm tequila. Fat. Aaron's. What's that? Madness. Aaron's madness. Aaron's madness. All right, there you go. That's what we're fishing today. What we got here, Matt? I don't know, we got a shady looking ramp. The <laughs> ramp kind of ends. Then it gets a little muddy. When was the last time you were up here, Matt? It's been like three years. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I'm, uh, that's why I'm so optimistic. I'm gonna catch my biggest spot today. Because every year I come back, they get a pound bigger and I've missed it. So they should be, well they are, they're like,
like eight, nine, ten pounds of the big ones down here. Works lovely. All right. depth that you said we were going to be fishing? We're going to target from 10 to like 35. We're going to find out where they okay. are in there. That's where we're going to start. And once we can narrow something down, we'll, we'll get it narrowed Get down. on it. Okay. Yeah. We're going to throw some shaky heads. We're going to show some, throw some nail weighted Senkos. Okay. And, uh, and some spoons. Okay, gotcha. See if we can't fire up these big old spotted bass. A lot of trees here. A lot of trees. Not so much boulder rock, but there is boulder rock, but there's it's a lot of stumps and sticks and stuff. Shaky head equals weedless, correct? That's it. Shaky head, you know, can, can hide that weed point inside the worm and get it through a lot easier. And we are fishing for spotted bass, correct? Not largemouth bass, nope. not smallmouth. Big, fat, and when I say fat, they're butter balls. Butter balls. <laughs> yeah, and we're not talking Thanks, little, we're talking to butter. <laughs> Where are the muffins at, by the way? They are in the under seat. the seat, that seat right there. There we go, and the fishing begins. It begins. Game on. Oh, oh, got him. Good one. Yeah. I do have my line out here. Yeah, there we go. Did, did he come back and bite? Uh -huh. oh, he did, okay. Yeah. I took it back over so he'd fall back down. There you go. Okay, there he is, buddy. Shaky head, gone. Gobble. Robo worm. Two and a half, almost three pounds spotted bass. It's a start. It's definitely a start. We're uh, we're just trying to start to figure them out right now. So hopefully the last few hours here we get a get a couple good bites. That's but what you guys were talking about. Is the afternoon? That's it. The afternoon. The afternoon's where it's at. So awesome. All right, see you, buddy. Back in. Here we go. Get your big one. Oh, there they go. Okay, yeah. Trippy set. Yeah, there he is. I got him. I think I'm going to do it. Oh no. Excuse me. Now, what was I saying? <laughs> if I get a big one, I'm getting him. Uh, -huh. uh nah. No. I'm sure that's that zero grab. He's on. She's on. Wait. Hey. Look how clear that water is. We're looking for bigger. Thanks, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Good. All right. First spot of bass. Sweet. Really, yep. really happy. All right. They only get bigger from there, right, Matt? Yeah. yeah. It's just the warm up. <laughs> hey, it starts with one. Get when you go for your personal best. You gotta start at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I like the attitude. Oh, oh now look at the size of that thing. <laughs> I knew right. it. Keep it going. Nice. Oh, oh really, dude. man, she got you. That's she, a six or seven pounder. It's a six or seven, yeah. Uh, maybe more like a tree or four. Yeah. Ooh. Tree or four. <laughs> <laughs> The current pulling it out. Probably is. No, it's not, dude. No, it's yeah. not. Oh. Big one, big one, giant, giant. Oh my, dude. Oh my god. I got you, Newman. Here he comes. Dude, oh, jeez, that's me. Oh, <laughs> dude. Talk here. To me, talk to me. Right here now. Oh no, no, no. It's going down. It's going down fast. Jeez, look at that fish. Oh, that's a good one, it's dude. It's like seven, huh? Yeah. That's still a nice fish, though. Jeez, you're doing well. <laughs> 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 Dude, 
There you go, dude. Uh, How big is that one now? I don't know. Six. Six and a quarter. Scales right here. Where's the scale? A little six pounder. You know, yeah, you know how big Little baby six pounder. Little baby six pounder. Pretty. It's over. Yep. Six and oh, on this job, All right, dude. Let's Good completely job. turn our day around. Yeah, afternoon yeah. bite, you guys. Oh no, it's on the cable. Oh my god! Oh my man. god, dude. Look at that size of this fish. Oh my goodness, dude. <gasps> Told you I was gonna get my personal bass. Don't come off. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! I told you! I told you! <laughs> How big is the fish? Oh my god! <laughs> Check one! <laughs> oh my gosh! That's, Dude. that's, that's, I would like to have caught it myself big. That's a spotted bass. That's a spotted bass. It's oh. a large mouth. <laughs> Oh, look at that belly! Look at that fish. Oh god, it's so heavy. That's Unreal. a spotted bass. Unreal. <laughs> I've never seen it. I've never oh, no, that's the first no, spotted bass. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Dude, Big fish. Crazy. I was not expecting that. Awesome. That was awesome. Oh, right, so you big. It. Let's put a scale up. Wow. Well. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> you said you were, dude. You said oh my you god. Were, nice job, man. Dude, nice job, man. That I can't. I'm freaking out. Now this scale is light, but we've all heard that, but it was 100% light. I'd love to reweigh it. Oh my gosh. It's eight pounds. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's eight pounds, dude. Nice. I just got an eight pound spot. I just got an eight pound spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's it. That's it. There you go. That's what we came for, That's man. That's what we came for. Yeah. Right. Come on, dude. I'm so, so cool. Stoked. That's not a six. It's not, not a seven. Eight. It's an eight pound spot of bass. Oh my god. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I'll worm. I think I might leave that worm right on there. Holy cow. Yeah, that's the uh, first big fat spotted butterball bass I've seen uh, in my life and uh, that's legit right there. You've, I've seen them in the magazines and you hear about them but you know it started off slow for us. Let's let's be honest we got a couple of rats but these guys know what's up and they don't give up and they just uh, got to keep fishing. It's about 2.30 so we got a couple more hours. That's awesome. That's exactly why we came up here is just to see one of those. And then I did the U-turn and I'm like that's a six and a half. And then when I went to, when I went to grab it I thought pure panic kicked in. I'm like dude this thing's huge. Check. Look at that cable. Go pull it forward, baby. I'm trying, man. Come turn it up. Come turn it up. She missed it. She missed it. She's big. Whee! Oh! Whoa. Bigger? Yeah. Bigger, dude. Help? Yes, I need help. Is it 10? She's big. Oh, man. Oh, man. Right here, man. Oh man, here we go. Yeah, this is definitely personal best for me. Stay down, stay down. Oh man. Get ready. She ain't done, she ain't done. No, she's, done. she's 10, she's 10 pounds. She's 10 pounds. There you go. Oh my oh. god, it's bigger. God, dude, is this a world man. record? Is this a world record? Is this is a world record? This is a world record, dude. Dude, dude, I think, I think we got the world record in my hand right now. I really do think because it's so heavy compared to my eight pounder. Look how big it is. Oh, look at my hand, dude. Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh, dude. What do you say? What do you say on a 
Picasso shaky head. Dude. Holy moly. <laughs> like, how wait, big I, that spotted bass is. That's not even... Are you kidding me? Let me see it real quick, Matt. Dude, Paul, it's so heavy. It's so oh big. Oh my gosh. It is so big. Oh. Holy oh my God. goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Here, oh my God! Hold on, hold on, eleven four, eleven four. We gotta go. We somebody, somebody, somebody's gonna have a better scale because that we gotta be go. The world record spotted bass. Dude, we gotta go. What does it say? The Let's scale go. is light out of my life. I swear it is. Put it in the libel. Let's go to Anthony. Let's go find Anthony. Yeah. Dude. Whoa, man. We just caught a world record spot. What is the record right now? Is it? Is it eleven one? I think. Oh no. From Tim. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Over 11 pounds spotted bass. World record quality right here. That, that very well could do. Dude. I'm speechless. I'm totally freaking speechless. <laughs> what tops an eight pounder? And an 11. And an 11. <laughs> you guys are always catching big fish. We get together and we just smash big ones. Big like, fish. Yeah. Like that's nuts. World okay. Record. World record spotted bass in the whole world. Yeah. That's what it is. We're si you're sitting on top of the biggest spotted bass in the whole world. Let's just take a deep breath. There you go. After we take some photos, what do you think we should do? We gotta call like GFG. You should have a number you can call, right? On a Sunday. Yeah, I mean. Do you think we should talk to your friend and see if he has a scale yeah, to get let's a go second? Find him. Let's, yeah. Let's okay. We'll start with that. Him, we'll, yeah. And if it hits 11, then it's the it's dude. Right. If we do it on both scales and have pictures and proof and the video fight and all that, that, that might be good enough, okay. you know. And that's pretty much what I can hope for. I want to no, start with first enough. of all. No, no it's not. And that's why BFG nobody dude. gets his registered. That's yeah. why the club had that 11 pounder. Right. I wonder how Tim did it because I know Tim didn't have somebody drive up, but he's, they he's GFG. They must have had certified scale exactly. Okay, let's start with personal best. Nice job, dude. You called it. and You wanted your personal best. And you called it. Nice job, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Both got our personal best spotted bass. It's unreal. Unreal. You know, we fished for three hours there. Didn't really run into anything cool. You know, a couple of little ones here, a couple of little ones there. And I look up and I see one of the creeks flowing and I say, let's go get in that creek, man. And we made a couple casts in there and bingo. All right, man. That's on. That's insane. That's insane. All right. Well, let's take a couple photos and then plan B. Stoked on Fishing Trip Tips is brought to you by Simrad and the new revolutionary Halo Radar, combining the best characteristics of Simrad's traditional pulse and 4G broadband radar systems. Halo uses a pulse technology to deliver an unprecedented mix of close and long-range detection, precise target definition, and low clutter. To learn more about the Halo Radar, visit simradyachting.com. This being my first time to the lake, I was paying close attention to what the guys were doing and how they planned to attack the lake. Matt was fishing straight 12 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon and Paul was fishing 20 pound braid to a three foot top shot of 12 pound Domeki fluorocarbon. Next in line was a Picasso shaky head rigged up with an Aaron's Madness Roboworm. The shaky head worm combo was weedless, which made it the ideal bait when fished around heavy cover. Guys were fishing the plastic worm really, really slow and letting the bait sit. All of our big fish came shallow with a deep drop off close by. And the big bites came in the afternoon, so make sure to bring your patience and warm clothing. Let him do it. Let him go. Let him go. How much? How much? Just let him go. Let him go. There you go. We yeah, we just need something to crazy, crazy moment. Oh there you go. Yeah, pull up the side of the boat, grab the boat. It's it's just... Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> no, <what is> <laughs>
Oh my god. Oh my god. 11-5. 11-6. 11-5. 11-6. 11-6. World record. Dude. But you still gotta get it. Yeah, so what do we do now? Now? Last I heard, the last guy that broke the world record. Thanks for showing us that. Where? He had to go to Truckee. Where's Truckee? Beast. Yeah, there it is, dude. Eleven four and a half. That's a world record right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Got it all. Nice. Cast dude. the catch. That's badass, man. Amazing. I, I, I'm speechless, dude. Amazing. Huh? I mean, we were talking about it. We were actually, we were really talking yeah. about it, man. We we're talking about coming up here. You can catch a world record up here, but to actually do it, yeah. oh man, yeah. <laughs> amazing. Pretty freaking cool. That's 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 awesome. yeah. Let me get her back in the water. Yeah, yeah. Look at these. Wow, that was, I'd say, some of the best 10 minutes of fishing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Thanks for the scale, guys. That definitely just confirmed it right there. Yeah, Thanks for showing it. <laughs> Always the first for stoked on fishing. <laughs> Always a new adventure. <laughs> Especially with these two. <laughs> we have a, a world record fish, a possible world record fish. And we're trying I'm sorry, to. You have a what? A world record sized bass. <laughs> what is that? I've never yeah. heard of this before. Okay, what do you need me to do? Well, we're trying to get, we were told to get hold of a warden. So we need a warden to uh, to come to the marina. I wasn't able to get anyone on my radio, but I can take your name and phone number and leave a message for a warden yes. for you. What's your yes. name? Yes, please. I guess all we can do now is just fish and wait, see if they call us back. If not, we're going to let her go so we don't have to kill her. And we all know what just happened. You guys got to see it too. You know the old saying, to make a long story short, well, Unfortunately, after waiting for a phone call on what to do and running out of daylight, we were unable to get a game warden down to the lake to verify it was a spotted bass. Now, Paul wasn't about to transport and or kill the fish so he could claim the world record. So after weighing the fish on three different digital scales on a grease calm lake, he decided to let her go, which was awesome to see. In a nutshell, all three scales were sent into the International Game Fish Association along with the video footage and correct paperwork. And in the end, Paul did not get the world record spotted bass. Why? Because we weighed the fish on a glass calm lake and not on dry land. Big learning curve for all of us. Paul said it best, we all know the weight of the fish and in our minds, it's the new world record spotted bass for the time being. Congratulations to Paul Bailey on catching a fish of a lifetime. Nice job. Next week, we're charging Lake Berryessa and, of course, Clear Lake. And yeah, that's right, we'll be throwing big baits for big bass. Stoked. If you're stoked on fishing and want to stay updated on recent fishing trips, see photos and video clips, and even join us on a charter, make sure to check us out online on our Facebook page. Like us, share us, and stay stoked on fishing. Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Simrad, the world's most trusted fish finding electronics, marine equipment, and navigational solutions. Simrad, go with confidence. And by Okuma Fishing Tackle, developed to inspire your passion for fishing both on and off the water. And by Davies Locker Sport Fishing and Whale Watching, where Southern California goes to experience what the ocean has to offer. And by Simi Valley Buick GMC, Southern California's family owned and operated dealership that is stoked on fishing.